live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. I think somebody's angry. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Ghost head. Well, you said you're a traitor. You saw that, right? Busy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. She she had to walk, talk her way in like that. Sounds good. Let's go. Great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Will you support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dump. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are what you two are you arguing about, about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth... <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Hey, you. Close the gate. There's super mutants on the other side of that uh, out there, and I don't want them going in after me. <laughs> but they'd probably violently dismember you for, before they get to me, anyway. So, Sir, this is the famous Diamond City. Base. 
Mayor, Mayor McDonough. McDonough. I have somewhere to go. Sorry. Newcomer. Well, hello. Talk to Abby. Your papers are newcomers. The institute grabs you in the night. At least we warn you. Anyone is one of those things. It's that Excuse secretary me. of the Curl and Curl Mm hmm. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yeah. Yeah, and let me give you some yaguai. Yum 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 double eggs. And you know what? You look like you could use a sweet or two. Some sugar bombs. Might as well eat me. There we go. Today's Halloween, but do we get treats? No, it's all tricks. All good. Okay, I want that. Um. Holy shit, that's a lot of money I'm spending on just to out of way.
I just use three, one for now and two for later. A fine decision, sir, or general, if I may. The middle men seem to be quite the understanding. Your thoughts? C, E flat, and G walking to a bar. The bartender says, sorry, we don't serve fine anything here. So E flat leaves, while C and G have a fifth between them. Nothing else for now. All right, then. You need this paper. Everything on the Institute, the public needs to know. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? Yeah, holding up. And I'll be right back. <laughs> 